Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Down to Earth, episode 173 to 174. Whew, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, my stomach just growled. <laughs> Hmm? Uh, I totally forgot what happened. Red? Oh, uh, didn't expect to see you here. Um, you shop here a lot? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, right. Trying to impress a woman on her birthday. More like it. Uh, what about you? You shop here often, too? Hmm. Nah, not really. <laughs> I'm going out. On a date. Oh. Uh. <laughs> what? You dyed your hair for a date? Huh? No, I dyed my hair because I wanted to. Th that's all. Well, who's the unlucky lady? Uh, um, sh she's... Why do you care? A anyway, I'm gonna go finish my shopping. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, sorry man, I saw a friend from school. I went and said hi. Find anything good? Yeah, I found a few things I liked. Huh. Not sure why, but I, I feel uneasy about Stace now. He seemed so cocky. He wasn't talking about Zay. Was he? Earth decayed. Oh. Sorry, what'd you say? What about gifts? Huh? Well, I know what Zeta likes. <laughs> But, I don't know what to get her. I don't know what to get either. What? I was thinking maybe I could just get her some art supplies? She'd be happy with that, right? Ugh. Dude. While those aren't a terrible idea, those sort of gifts comes off as casual. You're already dressing and smelling nice. Why not get a nice gift too? Doesn't doesn't have to be expensive. But the gift should hold some kind of meaning, right? You said it yourself earlier. You wanted a special gift. Right. I know where we can go. <laughs> uh He's really going all out for her birthday. Hmm. Maybe I should hurry this up. I can't have this one opportunity taken away from me. Hmm? Zeta, I left the last three pieces for you. How are you possibly stuck? Oh, sorry, Susie. I suppose I have a lot on my mind right now. What about? Well... About Stace, and my birthday party, and other certain things. Huh? But why? None of those things sounds like something to stress over. Uh, yes. I suppose you are correct. No, I get it. You have a lot going on. It's normal to worry. You worried things could go wrong, right? Oh. Yes, precisely. It'll be okay. Just do your best. That's all you can do. Mm -hmm. Huh? A text? Who is it? Um, it is Stace. He is asking if we can push our occasion to tonight. He is just... ew. I don't know. 
I don't know. Okay, like for me, Stace would never be my type. And that's just me. I know, like the long hair and the half dyed color thing. It's just for me, he's not my cup of tea, but I'm pretty sure other people will be like, oh my god, Stace is so hot. Hot. But for me, it's just like not, I don't know, not my type. It is Stace. And he's also very awkward. He is asking if we can push our occasion to tonight. Huh? Tonight, as in a few hours from now? What is he in a rush for? It is, is this odd behavior? Yeah, rude behavior. Ask him what the deal is. Hmm, I, I will get ready. Huh? You still want to go? It's so sudden. I do not mind. I am actually quite curious. The sooner, the better. True. I guess so. Fine. I will be taking you. I will keep you safe if he turns out suspicious. Okay. Thank you, Susie. I am ready. Oh, she looks cute. That is so cute. That is like, I'm going on a cute first date cute. <laughs> you look amazing. So here's my plan. I will hide in plain sight. Right out of, out of his view if possible. That way, if things get scary. <laughs> I can sneak attack. And your safety is guaranteed. I do not know if that will be needed. <laughs> Just in case, I got your back. Um, how will you hide in plain sight? You're very recognizable, Susie. Oh, don't worry. I'm prepared. I have the needed assets. Needed assets? I'll observe while being incognito. That is such a cute wig on her. I could never rock a bob like that, okay? But oh my gosh, when other girls uh, do it, I was like, oh my gosh. Just my face is so round. I think it just makes me look <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Wow, Susie, you look like a different person. <laughs> that's the plan. Well, I do not think we need to be extreme, I do appreciate your concerns. Just have fun and forget I'm there. That's a true friend right there, okay? If you're going on a first date, all the girls, okay, and guys, but mainly girls, if you're going on a first date, don't let the guy pick you up, okay? You drive yourself there or you have your friends drive you there, but don't let him know where you live because one, if the, if the date goes bad and he becomes kind of weird and stalkerish, um, you're kind of stuck with him until he drops you off if he decides to drop you off. Because once you're in his car, <laughs> you're, a lot, you're gambling with your life, okay? And two, always text. If you go on a first date, second date, whatever, text your friends and your family. I text my sister and my friends. Um whenever I'm on a date in the past, of the person I'm with, their name, I always do a background check. I don't know about you guys. I don't just be like, oh, hey, I'm going on a date with a guy named Jeremy, and that's it. No, I'm be like, Jeremy, I found out his Instagram account. This is his last name. I do the whole research, like, if he ever been to jail or whatever. I... <laughs> it's extreme, but you just never know. You just never know with creepy guys. Uh, and a picture of them, okay? And that, oh, I'm going to meet them at Chili's or Cheddar's or Chuck E. Cheese. Doesn't matter, right? Um, if you're going to Chuck E. Cheese for a first date, that's kind of weird. Uh, but it was like a Dave and Buster's, total, totally normal. But anyways, always tell your friends and family where you're going, who you're meeting. It, it's better to be safe than sorry. I'm sorry, guys. In today's society, I watch too many true crimes. Always tell your friends and family, where you're at, who you're meeting, and all that intel. Whew. 
All right, let's get a head start, shall we? I can scope out the area. Yes, let's go. Fair Custos. Wait a second. This, this is where he's taking you? Is there a problem, Susie? Ugh. This is the most expensive food joint in our town. It's a bougie restaurant. Bougie? As in fancy? Dude, a glass of water will put you in debt. I, I get it for your birthday, but this is big. The debt? Uh, Zeta, you got here before me. Your hair is different. It looks really good. Yeah, you think so? Is this your favorite color after all? Wait, he, he did that for me? But today, I am really enjoying light purple. Uh, that is very awkward. Good thing I know. I will not be bringing it up in conversations now. Susie, Susie drop you off? Yes. She'll be picking me up too. She's a... She's a wonderful roommate, isn't she? Absolutely. Uh, well... Uh, sh shall we go in now? Ugh. I'm suddenly so nervous. I can't believe. Sure. I hope that I can only hear pieces of his thought. Oh, he does his thought? Ugh. I was suddenly so nervous. I can't believe. Sure. I hope that. Oh, that's so crazy. That's so crazy. Okay. These new abilities are making me anxious. How will I make it inside? These places only uh, do reservations that are weeks ahead. T -t -t hmm? Huh? <gasps> hey, I know you. Oh, you're the whole reason I bought this outfit. I what? This is very sudden, but would you care to join me for dinner? Ooh, what? Is, what are the chances? That might be her new girlfriend. Just say, just say. <laughs> okay, Susie got saved. She is able to get in now, so she's gonna be sneaky and uh, pe peeping over, making sure Zeta is safe. But, guys, I don't know. I still think Stace is weird. So, yeah, I'm, I, re I recall Zeta be like, well, today I like the color red. And tomorrow, like, I don't know what color I like, you know? So, and for the fact that she just said at one time, I like red, and he went out of his way and dyed it like red. It's weird. It's weird. I don't know. Like, if they were dating, then yeah, it'd be cute or stuff. But, like... They're not officially boyfriend or girlfriend kind of deal for you to change yourself for a woman. But then again, like, it makes sense. He's a Oco taco. He never been on dates or whatever. He's been, he had always been an outcast, so we can't really judge him. I know, I know. It just, for me, in my whole life, I had always tried to be friends, the Oco tacos. And they end up burning me really bad and so that's why i'm kind of i steer clear from all the people who are very weird and because they end up backstabbing me and i don't know get i don't get it they feel insecure or something i don't know so i kind of learned my lesson to to stay away from people who who is like that you know they just say they, they don't know how to maintain a friendship and they're easy and they're quick to stab you because they feel i don't know but anyways, they just give me that weird feeling. Maybe he'll get better as we continue to read, but weird dude. Weird dude. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!